Wow, it's a hot one out there today. If this is your first time stopping by my channel for a visit, I'm Melanie and the name of my channel is Melanie Thompson. I think for today's video, I'm going to show you a few of my recent splurges. They're primitive pieces that I, I totally splurged on. And I'm also going to show you a few areas that I recently decorated in my home for fall. How does that sound? For my friends that have been following my channel for a while, you guys know I'm passionate about thrifting and the majority of my decor, I would say probably at least 95% of the decor that I use throughout my home is thrifted, even some of my furniture. So these pieces that I'm going to show you are definitely pieces that I splurged on. I show you guys a lot of the stuff that I buy and the majority of those pieces might only be a couple of dollars. Um, Normally, I don't really buy too much decor over maybe $40, um, probably even a lot cheaper than that, but I just could not pass up these pieces. These are fantastic, and all three of these were bought at the Crossroads Country Mall, and this is the first one. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is this... Primitive, doble, not gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Linda had it there, I'm going to say about four weeks, maybe six weeks. And every time I was there, of course, I would just, oh, oh, I was like a little kid in a candy store every time I would see this. And I wanted this so bad. And I kind of had some inner turmoil going on. It's like, should I buy it? Shouldn't I buy it? And, but this is one of those pieces that you just won't get rid of. Well, at least I know I won't get rid of. And to me, this is something that would be considered a wonderful family heirloom. Now the joke is, will my daughter actually ever appreciate or like something like this? I don't know. I'm hoping, but maybe my grandchild one day, if I ever have a grandchild, they might appreciate antiques but not sure about my daughter. My daughter's too modern, but there's always hope, right? But I love this. Do you guys care to guess how much I paid for this? Now remember, this was a splurge. This is very old. And look at the size of this doble. Oh my gosh, it is really nice size. I'm gonna say that this is probably, I should give out my measuring tape. It's probably at least 24, maybe, 28, maybe even a little bit bigger than that, inches across. And look at the side view. Oh my goodness, this is just gorgeous. And you can see, I'm gonna try to give you a really close up look just so you can see the wear of this and look at the sides too. The edging, oh, this is just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I have other dough bowls, but they're just made to look old. But this one is actually old and it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna tell you right now what I paid for it. Last guess, what do you guys think I paid before I tell you? It was $125, yeah, the, see, that's why I tell you it was a splurge. But she gave me 20% off of this. And I, I love this piece. I absolutely love this piece. So I'm curious, how many of you out there watching would pay $125 or even $100 for a, maybe you already have, maybe you've already paid, maybe you even paid more for a dough bowl like this. But I thought it was an absolutely fair price. Like I said, it was a splurge and splurges are something that I don't do very often, but when it's something that I really love and I really want, it's like, I'll definitely splurge on it. And these are my next two splurges. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are so gorgeous too. I say that a lot, don't I? But I love the word gorgeous. And primitive pieces to me are beautiful, gorgeous, just love them. But look at this. Oh, I got two pantry boxes, you guys. These are the shaker pantry boxes and they are very old. Look at them, oh my gosh. So each of these were $49 regularly. Um, she gave me 10% off of these shaker boxes. 
These are something else that I was looking at. I'm sorry, it's really hot. Oh, so hot today, gosh. Ugh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ladies, you can relate to how I'm feeling, right? It's, we won't get into that, but oh, you know, it's one of those things with age. <laughs> Plus it's hot outside, so it's a mixture of both. But I love these. These are beautiful. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the lid off very carefully because you can see it is, it is a little bit damaged. And look how this is even put together. Look at this with the little the nails. Oh, gorgeous. But here, I'll take it apart. I'll take the lid off carefully, very ever so carefully. Gosh, let me see. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's so nice. I mean, it's just, you know, not really messy. It's in good condition for its age. So this is the first one. Now I need another one. I want a bigger one now because the other one that I'm going to show you is a little bit smaller. So and as you can see, look, they can, they stack so nice together. Well, let me see. There we go. There we go. But I want a bigger one now. I want to have three because I think that'll look really nice. I'm just going to put this one down here. I don't want to drop it. But this one is also in really good condition for its age. And you can see how it's put together. The lid is a lot more easy to get off on this one. So, and I looked at these on eBay and they're priced totally fair. So they're actually, you know, asking a lot more on eBay than what I paid for these at the Crossroads Country Mall. And these are just in fantastic condition. So I was really tickled to get these. That's my splurges. Now we're gonna move right along and I'll show you the areas I decorated. I really like how this display turned out. This stand sits behind my sofa in my living room. I created a seasonal display inside this bushel basket. I also added a few little shovels. The shovels are made to look rusty and old, but they're really not. And I also added some Indian corn and a few little crows because I really love seeing crows in the fall. I don't know, I just, I think that they're just so cute. And I also added a little shovel right in front of this crow and I placed a couple little faux acorn. These acorn I purchased at Michael's a few years ago. Underneath everything, I added a burlap sack and I love adding burlap sacks to my decor. And for those of you that have been following me, you've seen me use burlap in different videos. And I also love using Indian corn in the fall. I think it's just so gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the texture. And back here, I just, this is a faux little haystack and I just placed some grapes. I used to decorate with a lot of grapes when I did Tuscan decorating, but now I haven't been bringing out the grapes too much, but you know, it's Fall is grape season, at least here in my area in upstate New York. We actually have a grape festival coming up at the end of the month, and I look so forward to that festival every year. And in upstate New York, we also love grape pie. Are any of you familiar with grape pie? Oh, it is so delicious. One year, I actually bought 40 pounds of grapes, and I canned homemade grape pie filling because I love pie, grape pies so much. And this is a vintage uh, little jack-o'-lantern scarecrow. My husband purchased it for me probably about 10 years ago on eBay. He does talk. He tells the crows to stay away, but um, he has a little bit of condensation or got a little bit of condensation where the batteries go. So my husband's going to clean that all out for me because right now he sounds like he's got a really bad cough whenever he talks, so it's really staticky. So I'm not gonna play that for you right now, but he is adorable. And maybe some of you have something similar to him. And here's one last look at how it all looks together. And the floral arrangement, I placed the stems 
inside my grandma's, uh, let me think, guardian service. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't remember the name of that picture, but it's um, the guardian service. And I made a couple little changes to my ladder. At the tippy top, I added another crow. This crow I purchased a couple years ago at the Christmas tree shop. I really miss that place. They had wonderful seasonal decor. And this is just a little jack-o'-lantern lantern. My mama gave that to me, um, gosh, a couple years ago. And I kept the sign and I also kept the Pitberry Garland because I thought both of them tied in nice for fall. And I also left this arrangement the same because I also thought it worked really nicely for fall. And I did change this up. Some of you might remember that I previously had a rooster lantern there, but I changed it up for this little cat and jack-o'-lantern. They're primitive inspired, so I think those tie in really nice with the rest of the stuff that I have on this ladder. For my coffee table, I used this table runner. I purchased this at the Crossroads Country Mall. It's a quilted table runner. I love the colors. It's a beautiful piece. And this is the basket that I shared that I purchased for I think around $7 at Hobby Lobby. And it was a great deal. And inside the basket, I added some Indian corn. I also used some of this. This is the spooky, creepy cloth that you can purchase at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, Amazon. But if you buy it at the Dollar Tree, it's only gonna cost you $1.25. That's one of the cheapest places I think you can buy it, or at least one of the cheapest places I've been able to find it. And it really not adds a nice touch with primitive decorating. And this is the scoop. I shared this scoop in one of my spring videos when I was decorating after Christmas. And I made these, I, I made these little things. Aren't they so adorable? Um, I've really been getting into making uh, like the pantry cakes and I thought these were just something cute and easy. There was nothing to make in these, they were super simple. These ones, I did not put the grunge mix on. I love the grunge mix, but for these little guys, I chose to not add the grunge mix. So super cute. They would also look equally adorable if I did put some grunge mix on them, but eh, I was a little bit lazy. And here I added a primitive metal star. I purchased that also at the Crossroads Country Mall. And I have my little lantern here. Some of you have seen me decorate with this lantern before. And this I've had for quite a while. So this vase, sorry, not the uh, actual arrangement like that, but this vase I've had for a while. It was a good little find. And I had this, it fell off. It's actually the top of a piece of Indian corn. It fell off, but I thought, eh, it would look cute just to kind of tuck it down in there. And I added a pumpkin and just to complete the look, I added some, just some raffia or straw because I thought it would help give it a little bit more texture and just bring the whole look together. What do you think? So I gotta tell you guys, when I first bought this, well, I didn't actually buy it. Well, I did, but I didn't find it. My sister-in-law found this for me. It's a sweet little stand. I really like it, but at first I just struggled with how to decorate it. And because I'll tell you why. It is deep, see? So I'm not really sure exactly what this was originally made for. And it also looks like it might have been made to hang on a wall, but I like it standing. And this little door also does open. So I struggled for a while with how do I decorate this? Then I had the idea that it would look super cute to put all of my spools and handles in this. Doesn't that look adorable? So I really like this. This is really becoming one of my favorite little pieces to decorate now because I think 
that this just looks so cute like this. And knowing me, I will probably keep it like this now for a while because I really do like that. I might change up the spools and the spindles, or I'm sorry, the spools and the handles. It's just, it's been a long day, I apologize. I can't talk right today. So let me know if you like that. So I hope that there's some of you out there watching that might collect tobacco tins or even vintage pipes. I played around with this for a while until I felt that I had it to my liking because maybe you guys are like me. I will play around with a display until I get it just right. It's just, I swear, it's just in my makeup because it just has to look right to my eye or I will just keep playing with it. Are any of you like that? But I really like this. So I have my two little tobacco tins here. Underneath it, this little box is actually a cigar box. This cigar box came from Goodwill. My niece found both of these tobacco tins for me. I added a few books. I was really kind of looking to make this like a little pipe smokers section, if you will. Not that my husband smokes uh, or even smokes a pipe. I just really, you know, like this look. And I don't know about you, but I love the smell of pipe tobacco. Oh, I think it just smells so lovely. And here I'm going to show you how I did, don't mind my couch. I'm, I have a, some, picks there because I'm trying to do a couple floral arrangements. So just excuse the little mess there. And here I just, I kept my bowls. Um, I had these bowls here earlier in the year, but I just changed what I had inside the bowls. I added a couple little pumpkins and I also added some of the little creepy cloth because I thought that it helped, you know, just tie in a little bit more with the primitive look that I'm going for. So I hope that maybe if some of you are struggling on how to make a little pipe tobacco display, I hope this might help you out a little bit. Do you like to decorate your interior doors? I do. I like to add wreaths and just little decorative pieces. So this piece, well, before I show you, let me apologize for the dark hallway. I do apologize, but hopefully you'll be able to get a good view of what I'm showing you, but it is a little bit dark in this area. There is no lighting. My mom gave me this scarecrow. Isn't it adorable? His little bibbed overalls say, give thanks. And I could honestly shove some straw down inside this if I wanted to, just to, you know, give him a little bit more stuffing. Um, so on my interior doors, I don't want to pound nails. So I like to use the command hooks. I have found that the 3M command hook, the sticky strips work a lot better. The off brands do tend to come unstuck after a while. Um, so that's just something that you might wanna be cautious about. Maybe you've had the same thing happen. I have had some things get damaged because the sticky tabs have you know, became, become unstuck. And I have this scarecrow just hanging on the door, going in to the guest room, just something to give it a little bit of fall charm. That's it for, <laughs> that's it for my video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hope I was able to give you some inspiration. And have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe subscribe button. And if you like this video, please also consider giving me a thumbs up. It is free to you to give me a like and also subscribe to my channel. Totally free to you, but it helps my channel to grow. And I will see you all again very soon. I'm not sure what day, but I hope to post another video within the next couple of days because I do have my fall home tour coming up very soon. And for my fall home tour, I'm going to be collaborating with a few of my very good friends here on YouTube. So stay tuned for those details. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care.